Hi, welcome to a product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to have a look at this pulse width modulation module based on IC555 timer. We are going to check the waveform on oscilloscope to see if it really generates pulse width modulation. Also, you will see a wiring diagram how to connect it to a motor driver to control a motor. After that, I'm going to connect it to a motor driver with a MOSFET to see how it can control the motor to drive the motor. As you can see, it can control the motor. Let's get started with this. In many applications, you need to have pulse width modulation and you don't have to buy or get expensive function generator. This can generate a pulse width modulation uh, with the duty cycle from almost zero. I checked it. It's around 1 to 90, 99%. So you can use this to generate those pulse width and also uh, if you have a motor driver or something, if you want to control a motor, that will be also perfect. Uh, we have three pins. The first pin is VCC. This will be connected to 4.5 to 16 volts. So in case if you're using a device that works with 5 volts, standard 5 volts, that also will, will be fine. The middle one is GND or ground, will be connected to the ground. And this is the pulse width modulation out from the side. And this variable resistor is 100 kilo ohm with a switch. This VCC is directly connected to this switch so you can turn it on and off. Here if you look at the data sheet the power supply can be 4.5 minimum up to 16 volts maximum. So VCC, this VCC can be connected to up to 16 volts. And the amount of current when it's 5 volts it uh, needs 3 uh, milliampere and at 15 volts 10 milliampere. The maximum for both cases 15 and 6. So maximum current, if you're operating it at 15 volts, would be 15 milliampere. This is a pin 1, and then 2, 3, 4, there is a dot, and then 5, 6, 7, 8. And here are the, the, the pins. From the left side, that's ground. This is going to VCC. And the rest of the pins have been mentioned here. And I will provide you the link for this data sheet if you need further information. Let me explain the pulse width modulation. This is a squared wave signal that has half of the time it is high or 5 volts or whatever is your high and then half of the time it, this is off. And this is the beginning of the signal as it goes high and until it goes high again this is called one cycle and from here to here is called one period. And the duty cycle is the time that the signal the portion of the signal that is high. Duty cycle in this one is now 50% because it's 50% of the time it's high. And here the duty cycle is zero and this is 25%. If you look from here to here, one quarter it's high and three quarter it's low. And this is 100% because it's always on. These lines just show you that uh, this is one cycle. Image. This is 25% as we, we saw like before, this is 50% and then 75%. As you can see here, this was 25% and 75% it was low, so duty cycle is 25 and here is 25% high and 25% low. The cycles are all aligned. The cycle uh, can be represented in terms of intensity of light. If you connect this type of signal to a, a light, 25% means one-fourth of the brightness, 50% means half of the brightness, and this is three-quarters of the brightness of the light. And if it's a fan, the speed of fan will be slower, and if it's a motor, the speed of motor will be the same. 100% means full power of the motor, and then 25% is one-quarter, and 50% is half. Uh, this is uh, showing the voltage and the frequency is 12 kilohertz. We are going to see how stable is the frequency and the period is 80 microseconds. So 
so let me uh, rotate it counterclockwise fully so now we have a little uh, peaks of this high value let me just zoom in and because that was 80 microseconds let's uh, put the cursor there and that's 1.2 microseconds the delta between the two the time that is on so and that is based on calculation it's uh, one point so my calculation shows it's 1.5 percent so it doesn't go fully zero so still good at 1.5 percent and now let me just increase the duty cycle as you can see the duty cycle increases pay attention to the frequency the frequency is around 12 kilohertz st stable the voltage is also important that we have to look at 3.92 so the frequency is still a little fluctuation but stable now it's a maximum duty cycle but the frequency has a little drifted a little but still within the uh, two percent of the value now let's measure the this time that is low because we have to see it, this is not 100%. This is 1.52 microseconds. And we are getting 1.9%, which means it's 90, 98.9%. So it's not 100%. 98.9% because it's 1.1% less at uh, the time that it is uh, supposed to be at 100%. And here is the wiring, how I have connected it to the motor. This is the module, the three pin that it has. VCC is connected to 5 volts, ground is connected to the ground, and the signal out is connected to SIG or signal pin of this module. I have another video explaining how to use this one. I'm not going to talk about it. So VCC and ground is also connected. Now for the motor, this voltage I've written 12, depending on your motor. This can handle up to 36 or 40 volts. So whatever is the voltage of your motor, you will connect the power supply to ground and VN here. And from here, plus and minus will be connected to your motor. I'm going to test it. I've connected 5 volts to this and also connected the same 5 volts to this module. And uh, there is a MOSFET IRF520 in. And here is the motor. And this is just holding it for me and this is power supply that's coming to the for the motor and controls and goes here to the motor now let's turn this on i have to hold this maybe the motor will have a and this device has a led which shows amount of power that comes to it i'm rotating it slowly So if I rotate it fully, that's the maximum.
I can keep it at that level. Slow or maybe faster. A nice drum only at that level. For conclusion, we could say that this is one of the best devices that you could get with a price to do the pulses modulation because you just feed in the 5 volts, no Arduino, nothing, and then the output of this can be fed to a motor driver. This is a motor driver and you can drive the motor and also it has a switch so you can turn it on and off. I will provide the link if you want to purchase it without any affiliation from eBay. Thank you for watching. This was a review and test uh, of this pulse width modulation module based on a uh, triple five IC timer. If you like this video, please thumb up. Please also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.